Whereas the Administration of Criminal Justice Act 2015 and the Administration of Criminal Justice Laws applicable in several states mandate chief magistrates to conduct monthly inspections of police stations and other places of detention other than prisons within their jurisdiction to inspect records of arrests direct the arraignment of suspects and grant bail. Records, however, show that around 72% of the prison population is still awaiting trial. It's important that we understand that everything is not about detention. At times, innocent people will now mix up with hardened criminals because the facilities are not there to really assess because of the crowd, the, no the large number of people who we are being arrested. There are consequences of custody. So issue of torture, issue of extrajudicial killing that may come because of the torture happening there. Issue of the cost to the government, food. You're spending, it's like I'm spending money to take care of you. Meanwhile, if I have sentenced you and given you a non-custodial measure, you will be the one working, especially if it's community service. You'll be working for the government. The government won't be spending. The UN Committee Against Torture is deeply worried that the implementation of fundamental safeguards is subject to numerous shortcomings, including 1. Allegations of arbitrary arrests and incommunicado detention without any contact with their relative or someone of their choice. 2. Reports of poor materials and sanitation conditions of detention coupled with inadequate food and water supply. 3. Instances in which persons are held in police custody beyond the time limit. 4. Reports of lack of separation of juvenile inmates from adults, convicts from remanded detainees, and detention of pregnant and breastfeeding women, as well as persons living with disabilities. 5. Reports that arrested persons do not receive regular information about their arrest and their rights including the right to legal representation. Six, the fact that legal aid is difficult to obtain in practice. Seven, lack of audio or video recording of the questioning during investigation in police custody. Eight, the absence of an independent medical examination from outset of detention. Nine, the lack of reliable information on the total number of prison deaths, their causes and follow-up investigation. Ten, the reports that capital punishment can be imposed under Sharia jurisdiction for offenses such as adultery, apostasy, etc. And instances of ill treatment inflicted on drug users and persons with psychological disabilities, as well as cases of violence against women and girls. What makes people comply is the certainty that if you violate that law, you will be caught. What makes people to comply is the certainty that when you are caught, you will be duly prosecuted. What makes people to comply is that when you are duly prosecuted, you will be found guilty. What makes people comply is that when you are found guilty, that there is a certainty that you will serve the sanction. So when these levels of certainties are not there, it doesn't matter whether you say that the sanction is one, you know, death penalty or 25 years imprisonment or whatever it is, it holds no water because they know that they can do it and nothing comes out of it nobody is going to be apprehended so how many persons who are perpetrators of torture have actually been prosecuted many you speak to will tell you oh we don't we if where are we going to get the tools we have a how many dna labs do we have it's located in lagos how many fingerprint experts do we have for the entire country do we have that number? We will be shocked to find that there are probably less than a hundred. So how are you going to even maintain a criminal database? And so their excuse for using torture is because they feel they have no other means of carrying out an investigation successfully. The alternative to lack of equipment is not going to be the application of torture because then you suffer from neglect of government agencies, you equally suffer from the cooperation of the citizens. So these are issues that you really need to look at and that it is possible for us to now use education to improve the way in which the security agencies are going to address the challenges around them. You see, this is why we are empowering most of the agencies to have capacity building programs and begin to train our personnel 
as to the modern ways of doing things. And if that is done, uh, once people are well trained and are exposed, well educated, they can they themselves will know that this is not the right thing to do. Uh, you have to do things that are of international standards. So, the whole business of education, which makes for social progress, really, in my view, uh, must deal with these basic values, so that when it becomes the shared uh, base for how society acts, uh, people respecting the dignity of others uh, uh, can get a lot more out. The efforts to significantly reduce detention overcrowding through the federal decongestion program and COVID-19 pandemic measures are to be boosted by other non-custodial measures on early release in accordance with the United Nations standard minimum rules for non-custodial measures, the Tokyo rules, and the United Nations rules for the treatment of women prisoners and non-custodial measures for women offenders, the Bangkok rules. In other words, what we recommend is that there should be a clear process that enables adequate investigation to happen. You know, real effective investigating abilities, forensic equipment and all that. So you don't just pick and arrest somebody because somebody said this is, an, is, is, is a criminal. You have to do the due diligence. And as soon as you have that person, you'll be ready to go to court so that the length of pre-trial detention will be reduced. So that the chances of finding this person guilty, if the person is guilty, is faster because the more you delay, the more the memories of the, your witnesses would have lacked and they will not remember the cases. And when the witness does not support, with them, they, 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 that matter, even if that person is really a criminal, it would be difficult to prove. The Administration of Criminal Justice Act 2015 is to be properly implemented while pre-trial detention effectively monitored and reviewed such that it is used only when necessary and proportionately. To continue, get part five, brought to you by Prower, with the funding support of IRCT.